Your Holiness, please accept my most sincere appreciation for the assistance of the Holy See by your correspondence dated November 28, 2016. And I now beseech the assistance of Your Holiness and the Vatican again on a matter of great import regarding the grant of dispensation arising from the pandemic, which I regret to inform you has been the result of undue influence upon all evidence and fraudulently induced as established by all that is science. Your Holiness, for the faith, for the church, and for the sake of science, I beseech thee to issue an encyclical letter to the bishop to withdraw dispensation. For as Martin Luther stated in his famous address before the Diet of Worms on April 18, 1521, because it is as clear as noonday that they have fallen into error and even into glaring inconsistency with themselves. It is my considered belief, Your Holiness, that this could present a great blessing for the Roman Catholic Church, the people throughout the world, as well as advance the kingdom of God and his coming. Your Holiness, like the times in which Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., a friend of my father, lived, we are again in an Advent season for a troubled human race where there is neither peace within nor peace without, harrowed by fear by day and haunted by night, reminded every day of the ominous possibilities it portends. But where there is danger, there is always opportunity. Just as where there is doubt, fear, and despair, there is an abundant time for the power of faith, if only that of a mustard seed. And in these days, we are reminded of the words from the Apostle Paul in his letter to the church at Ephesus. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Your Holiness, as with all in the Roman Catholic faith community, even though not a Roman Catholic myself, but certainly an ecumenical friend and ally. I met the news with great sadness regarding the requirement for an issue of dispensation on March 20th, 2020, during the Lincoln season. But as a retired strategic analyst, I was most concerned about the precipitating circumstances arising from a variant migration of a novel coronavirus which almost immediately began to spread upon the approach of one of the most holy observances in the Christian faith, not only defying a normalized random distribution upon departure from Wuhan to the avowed enemy of the Chinese Communist Party, the Republic of South Korea, particularly in migration to Daegu, placing a United States military installation under siege until infection finally took hold, claiming one victim, but also noting the source of the main story to Italy, where Vatican City is an island. I was far more concerned when I requested from the World Health Organization why they did not highlight this footnoted variant in their report, nor care to respond after I had inquired in earnest. Your Holiness, I must confess, Long before familiar with the terms, I was particularly intrigued by the description of the present pandemic pathogen as a novel coronavirus, which as a retired soldier, I had immediately described as perfect in its imperfections. Your Holiness, the inclusion of a uniquely targeted human immunodeficiency virus facet was significant enough for one business publication to announce this finding almost immediately after the novel coronavirus emerged. Moreover, according to research articles published by Chinese scientists in India, early in the evolution of news about a novel coronavirus, I quote, our analysis of the spike glycoprotein of 2019 NCOV revealed several interesting findings First, we identified four unique inserts in the 2019 NCOV spike glycoprotein 
that are not present in any other coronavirus reported till date. To our surprise, all the four inserts in the 2019 NCOV map to short segments of amino acids in the HIV-1 GP120 and GAG among all annotated virus proteins in the NCBI database. This uncanny similarity of novel inserts in the 2019 NCOV spike protein to HIV-1 GP120 and GAG is unlikely to be fortuitous. Further, 3D modeling suggests that at least three of the unique inserts, which are non-contiguous in the primary protein sequence of 2019 NCOV spike glycoprotein, converge to constitute the key components of the receptor binding site. Of note, all the four inserts have PI values of around 10 that may facilitate virus-host interactions. Taken together, our findings suggest unconventional evolution of 2019 NCOV that warrants further investigation. Our work highlights novel evolutionary aspects of the 2019 NCOV and has implications on the pathogenesis and diagnosis of this virus. Your Holiness. But as a retired soldier, like St. Ignatius Loyola, the founder of the Society of Jesus, what I found most odd, particularly observing the early devastation among the elderly in the state of Washington, as well as the events that had occurred aboard luxury cruise ships, was the peculiar fact that the devastation had somehow limited itself and not spread to other similar living arrangements like apartment complexes where persons are essentially residing aboard landlocked cruise ships. Your Holiness, as you are no doubt aware, the Bertolt Brecht work regarding the life of Galileo is celebrated amongst many opposed to the Christian faith, and in particular Christ Church, because he was taken to the Inquisition and persuaded to recant what he had established by a scientific method, albeit not focusing upon the Christian kindness bestowed upon him by his friend of long years, His Holiness Pope Urban VIII, formerly His Eminence Cardinal Matteo Barberini, a character I had the opportunity to portray in a dramatic production of that work as an undergraduate student and engaged in deep study to develop my character portrayal of His Holiness. And Your Holiness, it is upon God's science Jefferson's God of Nature, that the secular theology of a novel coronavirus, born at least of popular report from a secularly immaculate conception, synodically evolved, is that house of which our blessed Lord and Savior had declared a house built upon sinking sand. Your Holiness, as succinctly expressed in Juan M. Sanchez, an exercise in sampling, Sampling is critically important stage in any analytical procedure that aims to reduce the amount of material to be analyzed to a representative portion that can be manipulated in the laboratory. And the best samples from which to glean empirical findings are those of at least a sufficient mass. Yet Your Holiness, despite approaching the anniversary of the emergence, of a pneumonia of unknown etiology in the central mainland of China of significance there have only been two large sample size tracer contact studies from which to derive a secondary attack rate among tracer contacts so as to determine the level of infectiousness namely report of the WHO China joint mission on coronavirus disease 2019 COVID-19 an examination of over 55,000 laboratory confirmed cases in China that was completed about a month before the grant of dispensation for in-person devotional worship. And Ramon Laxmanari Ara, Epidemiology and Transmission Dynamics of COVID-19 in two Indian states. An examination of over 3 million laboratory confirmed cases in India 
which was completed at the beginning of October. Your Holiness, the latest large sample size study found only a secondary attack rate ranging from 4.3% to 10.7%, with not unexpectedly those aged 65 and older being found most prone to infection. The earlier large sample size study found secondary infections to their surprise, given what had appeared, at least by press reports, to be a raging inferno of infections being transmitted from person to person of less than 5%, with a high correlation to specific locations and declining in both incidence and prevalence the further the teams of epidemiologists travel from ground zero in Wuhan. Your Holiness, those earlier findings were so puzzling that that report recommended further study despite proliferation patterns emerging worldwide in an emerging threat that had already been declared a public health emergency of international concern as to whether the disease was hereditary or genetic, as infections appeared on empirical evidence to be driven by families. And Your Holiness, for understanding by layman as we to the medical sciences, the WHO stated in plain and clear English their conclusion with regard to the level of infectiousness of COVID-19. It is not clear whether this correlates with the presence of infectious virus. Just as under the Barack Obama administration, in preparation for the potential contingency that pandemic pathogens might threaten the critical supply of personal protective equipment necessitating a requirement to provide non-essential persons some form of relief using the same equipment that it is used to rate medical grade PPE, it was indisputably established that results obtained in the study show that common fabric materials may provide only marginal protection against nanoparticles, including those in the size ranges of virus-containing particles in exhaled breath. Negating any necessity or authority for World Health Public Authorities to even begin a hasty review of 172 observational studies across 16 countries and 6 continents with no randomized control trials and 44 relevant comparative studies in the healthcare and non-healthcare settings prepared after May 3rd regarding MERS, SARS, and SARS-CoV-2 to determine the obvious conclusion that a medical grade mask might possibly provide the best protection against microbial infection. And who could not reasonably foresee the conclusion that we have low certainty in that. This advertisement was authorized by Mike Webb.